the development of the model of atoms. Ideas about atoms have changed over time. John Dalton was the first scientist who described the presence of an atom and he uh, stated that all matter was made of tiny particles called atoms, which he imagined as tiny spheres that couldn't be divided. Then came J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson suggested the plum pudding model of an atom. In this model, the atoms are described as being a ball of positive charge with negative electrons embedded in it. Later on, Ernest Rutherford tested the plum budding model. When he tested the plum budding bud, uh, uh, model, he fired positively charged alpha particles at a thin gold foil. What he noticed is that most of the alpha particles went straight through the foil. Only few were scattered in different direction. That led him to uh, suggest that most of the atom is made of empty spaces where these positively charged particles can go through the gold foil straight uh, and then the one which were scattered, this is due to their hitting the positively charged uh, particles inside the atom. So he suggested the nuclear model. The nuclear model, the mass of an atom is concentrated at its center and he called that the nucleus. The nucleus is positively charged and then we have the electrons which are negatively charged around the nucleus. Niels Bohr then suggested another modification of the model of an atom because he then described the orbits of the electrons. So he suggested that electrons would orbit the nucleus in certain shells or energy levels. And these shells can be found at certain distance from the nucleus. The nucleus contained a small particles called the proton. So the positive charge of the nucleus is due to small particles called proton. Each proton has a small amount of a positive charge. Finally, we have James Chadwick. James Chadwick is the scientist who suggested the model of an atom that is now widely used and accepted. James Chadwick was the first scientist to describe the existence of particles in the nucleus which were not charged. So in his model, he suggested that the nucleus has two types of particles, the protons which were already described before by Niels Bohr, and then the neutrons, which are neutral particles, which have a mass. And then we have the electrons, which orbit the nucleus. The uh, uh, development, the, his development of the model of an atom is the one that we are using today.